My name is Ivan Moody. I'm a composer, a conductor, and a priest of the Orthodox Church. Um, I have worked with Capella Romana several times in the past. This is my fourth time conducting them, and I'm here in Portland once again to conduct them in an amazing program called From Darkness to Light. The program I'll be conducting with Capella Romana this weekend includes some of the most thrilling music of the 20th century. The centerpiece is a large choral work by the Russian composer Alfred Schnitka called Penitential Verses, and it also includes music by Rachmaninoff, who is well known to Portland and Seattle audiences, uh, music by the Ukrainian composer Galina Grigoryeva, and music by me. The Schnitka is a, a really remarkable piece. It's a journey. It was written in 1987 for the millennium of the baptism of Russia, or the country that is now known as Russia. And it's a demanding piece. It, it, it takes us on a journey from darkness to light, which gives us the title for the program. Um, it's a very virtuosic piece. Uh, the choir members have to do things that they would not do in other pieces, and they need to have a tremendous sense of ensemble, a sense of togetherness, and uh, working together as a team. But uh, this journey, complex though it is, uh, really does give you a sense of moving from darkness into light. It takes you from Adam weeping outside the Garden of Eden back to paradise, and it's really a tremendously thrilling work. Um, Schnitka didn't come from nowhere, uh, which is why we've included Rachmaninoff's early piece, the, the Concerto for Chorus. Uh, this is um, a, a concert piece, essentially, um, and it's uh, in an earlier style than his well-known Vigil or, or Vespers, uh, but, it's, but it's a beautiful piece, and it neatly encapsulates the, the Russian choral tradition out of which Schnitka's work comes. So. We also include a work by the young Ukrainian composer Galina Grigorieva. She now lives in Tallinn in Estonia, and she's written a piece which is also a journey on a, on a smaller scale. Um, it moves from a, from a, a dark-coloured um, world of introspection to a, a very beautiful, um, elaborate uh, uh, kind of writing that recalls uh, early Russian music. And this piece is set for men's voices only, and so explores uh, a different sound world from the full choir music of Rachmaninoff. Uh, my own piece is called Anastasis, and which means resurrection. It's the Greek word for resurrection. And this is the light at the end of the tunnel. So we begin with the darkness of the of the Schnitke Psalms of Penitence, and we arrive at the uh, radiant light of, of the resurrection. Uh, my piece doesn't come out of the Russian tradition, it comes out of the Greek tradition, um, but you don't really need to know all that to enjoy this program. Uh, the music is absolutely engrossing. Um, it, it will bring you a, a vast array of colours and, and experiences and emotions, and I think it's one of the most ambitious programmes that Capella has ever done and I'm looking forward enormously to conducting it.